The 15 altcoins I'm going to show you today have stuck out to me as by far the most explosive for this bull run, and I'm going to show you the reasons why. I'm not just going to lead you blindly into 15 random altcoins. I've chosen these very selectively. I started with about 30 of all the ones that I thought were the best and dwindled them right down, touching on some of the most important metrics to have a look at when assessing what the best altcoins are for a bull run like we're about to experience. Now, a big disclaimer before I continue. Guys, look, never go ahead and follow some random YouTuber's advice on a top altcoin video, including this one. I want you to go ahead after you watch it and do some more research. On my channel, I've got a whole bunch of these altcoins broken down into so much more detail, so it's worth going over there and having a quick look yourself. All I have to say from this point is make sure you drop a like on the video to help support all my work and subscribe so you can achieve your crypto goals. All right, ladies and gents, it's going to be very important for me to break down the actual reason why I've added these 15 coins. Well, actually, it's 17 coins to this list. I just couldn't dwindle down any further than 17 coins. Because if you understand this, you understand the reasons why I've picked these coins. And ultimately, I've spent over 10,000 hours in this bloody industry I know, I'm borderline psychopathic at this point, looking into all the different metrics other YouTubers will talk about. Now, not to throw shade at them, they obviously can research whatever they want to research, but myself, being someone who came into this industry looking at things like developer reports and on-chain activity and all that sort of minute granular stuff that you could honestly get very confused about, that actually was all for nothing because... When I dug deeper, that means nothing in an industry run by people who just buy based on surface level stuff. Now, we're going to look a bit lower than surface level, but I've given a very clear A to Z guide on how to actually go ahead and do this. And I've made plenty of free videos out there on the channel, and I've made a whole course on this as well. But the TLDR basically is, there's like five different things that we can do to find these good altcoins. The first most important thing is locating what the project is known for making sure it's known for something that's very good and going to have a lot of money flow into it. For example, I've ranked these out of 10. These are different narratives, right? Interoperability, gaming, AI, D-Pin, modularity, ZKPs, oracles. I mean, you guys would have heard of these, right? Very, very uh, borderline basic stuff, but altcoins that are known for the top narratives, right? What happens is when the money flows into the narratives, when it's meme season, when it's AI season, right? What happens? all those coins go and blow up. So we're looking for the areas that these old coins hit multiple of these top narratives, which is pretty much one of the most important kind of criteria I've decided to apply to these old coins today. Mainly they have to be in the best narrative. So mainly we'll find these old coins hitting multiple 10 out of 10 narratives. They'll have a few lower narratives as well, but that of course does help the explosive potential of the projects. Now, if you're a bit confused, all you have to really know is that when you have you know, some of these big narratives, for example, let's use AI, everyone knows what AI is, right? When you have the AI narrative really popping off, these really old coins in the AI narrative, well, you can pretty much pick any of those old coins and they're all going to go up. You might have a few that aren't the best projects that are really, you know, degen related, that really look horrible, that won't really move too much, but you can basically cover your eyes and pick any old old coin and do well. The further down this list you go, for example, looking at things like IoT, right, as a narrative or supply chain, you have to be very selective at the coins you pick because you don't have that luxury of that money just flowing into every project when this narrative pops off, which moves us into the second research method that will apply to these altcoins today. And that's something called the meme or the memetics. This is the reason why you buy a meme coin, right? The meme coin's relatable. It's funny. It's got a gag to it. It's got some superficial BS utility feature, but mainly you buy it for the idea, okay? And that's what the meme is. What is the project? Is it unique? Does it stand out amongst the competition? And is it easy to understand? To visualize this again, money flows into crypto. Firstly, people look at whatever the hot topic is. Let's say there's a layer one narrative popping off right now. All these layer one projects you know, are going up and up and up. But the meme comes in when all of a sudden people go to themselves, what's the one that really stands out? What's the one that I want to go ahead and buy? And keep this in the back of your mind. I've ranked these a top five narratives of the bull run. Now, while all the ones over here are 10 out of 10s, 
I think there are clear top fives. And we can look back months now at some of these reports that have been coming out since the bull run really kicked off in October. Reports saying like, you know, some have speculated that Deepin Tech will be one of this decade's most important crypto investments. You know, Deepin and AI are poised to be the power duo of 2024. And we come to the likes of AOS, for example. And what are they saying in their reports? As 2024 becomes the year of Deepin, what's the first thing on their website? Deep in for Web3. I've been on countless calls with many of these founders of these projects, and they all say the same things. They bring up the word narrative and they mention their meme or their USP. This isn't some crazy hypothetical crypto bro degen plan. This is legit, and these projects know what they have to do to gain the most market exposure. So, let's have a look at the tier list. Now, I'm going to rank these, and these are the 17 coins on your screen. Right from, if I could, I would buy more, right? So this is the highest on this list because if I could go back in time three or four months back into October of last year, I would buy a shitload of these, you know, tokens. Next is massive blow off top moment. So it's going to be probably one of the most powerful um, projects in this. Again, these 17 coins are already like dwindled down from a massive list I wanted to mention in this video. So these in of themselves are like the best in terms of pumpamentals in my opinion, but I'm going to rank the ones I think are like the S tier of the S tiers in that category. Of course, huge gainer, pumpamental king and strong coin. Like you could argue all of these sound very, very similar, but I think we all get the point. As for the multiples, some of you probably asking yourselves, well, what does he think these multiples can go to? I might mention the multiples throughout this video from the current price. No one really knows the true power of some of these narratives. All we do know is money will flow into them. And let's kick things off quite simply. Let's start alphabetical order over here with AOS. Well, where do I think AOS can go? Well, for starters, we know AOS is going to react extremely well to positive news. AOS went down here and 20x on literally just the back of the website refreshing. I made a video on AOS like two and a half years ago, right when it was just a content delivery network and them just refreshing the website and giving themselves a transformation into what will be the biggest narratives of the bull run. Deepin, AI and storage, massive. Streaming is quite large as well. They're also a layer one project. I mean, guys, they tick so many damn boxes. In my opinion, if I could go back in time, I would most definitely buy a lot of AOS. I think this project can go into well above a 10 billion market cap, probably even more considering the right conditions. And again, the roadmap we know is uh, quite strong. At least it will react to positive news. So this is something that plays way back into a form of my pumpamentals research, which is popularity. Next up, we have a cash network. So this is a great project. Personally speaking, I think a marketplace, so a middleman for people who want to put up their GPU power and people who want to use that for AI and other services. I mean, obviously that's going to do well. That model has been true, tried and tested. Airbnb, Uber, so on, right? It definitely works. Does take longer to kickstart, which I think is the reason why a cash was pretty much you know, not looking too hot for a while there as every other project admittedly was. But the reason it's doing so well in this bull run is again, the prevalence of the AI deep in narrative. If I could go back in time, I mean, who wouldn't want a free 20X? So really it should be up here, but I'm going to refrain from looking at the multiples it's made and more so look at what would I be like if I had just a chart looking like back uh, way, way down over here. And there wasn't really too much going on for the project. And just based on the research methods, what would I actually do? Have a look at the stats in general. I mean, back then, of course, we wouldn't have had much um, positive news in this area. But right now, I mean, everything is going exponential. So it's one of the very few examples I would actually rely heavily on the stats to have a look at the overall interest. Again, it's a marketplace. And so again, all that being said, and, you know, cash being an AI deep in it even being actually in cloud infrastructure and big data really does hit a lot of the top narratives. I think I would be kind of crazy not to put it in at least a massive blow off top. So what about Alt Layer? Well, Alt Layer is one I've made a full deep dive video on. So again, if you want to learn more about this project, you definitely can on my channel. I would put it in the huge gainer. Now, it's definitely not at the very top because while well, the price right now pretty much is the same price it was at its lows, well, at least very close to that. It's a new coin, right? Hasn't really caught traction just yet. So no, I personally would just buy the coin right now. So I'm not really fiending to buy it at a cheaper price. Um, it doesn't hit a massive blow off top in my personal 
personal opinion because while this is an amazing project, I think the degen, which again is the whole entire reason why these coins are on this list because that goes into the reason why Pumper Mentals is even a bloody thing. I don't think they're going to really like this project as much as some of the other ones on this list or another layer two, for example, like IMX. I guess that pretty much just comes down to it being mimetic, right? It's not as mimetic as something like these two, but it's doing a lot. So if you actually look at this coin, it's really, really cool. Basically allowing developers to come on and build customizable and flexible layer twos. You can customize anything you want. This is part of their stack. You can break apart the entire layer two using old layer and have it so customizable. You don't really need to be very uh, code heavy or a big strong you know, layer two team, for example, to make that happen. They even offer these things called ephemeral rollups, which means you can create a temporary layer two to offset temporary congestion through vital mark and squad. They break apart different parts of the layer two stack to allow people to plug and play whatever they need, leveraging alt layer, which leverages eigen layer. So very decentralized, very secure. These guys hit actually five narratives. So it hits a lot. Interop, modularity, layer two, data availability, and even app chain. So layer threes. So yes, definitely deserves a spot on this list, but isn't the biggest player by any means. Next on this list is A-Star. Now Ace is one similar to what I'll mention momentarily here, which is Manta Network. I'm going to put it into the Pumper Mental King category for now because while I think it's a great coin and it definitely deserves like a massive blow off top, I just don't think there's enough buzz around it from what I've seen so far. Acer has definitely come up from its lows. It was about 4.1 cents and now it's about 14 cents. But Acer fundamentally again is a layer one built on Polkadot, leveraging Substrate, leveraging the very complex uh, sort of framework built for smart contracts, but also it has now branched over to Polygon and it's doing a fair bit over there as well and also it is connected to what's called the ag layer now it's the first actual full blockchain connected to the ag layer big first steps here for Asta. also one of their sort of foundational members uh star tail labs helping kind of build Asta into the behemoth it really wants to be has partnered with sony ace the foundation has also partnered with sony in the past these guys have launched a lot of money to enable them to break out into you know, different markets, primarily the Japanese market. So these guys are focused a lot over there. I mean, it's definitely a project that you might want to be really interested in. Again, hitting a lot of these different areas, primarily again, interop, modularity, web three, layer one, and layer twos. Next we have Fetch. Now Fetch, I'm going to straight away put up in here. I would buy more if I really could right now. I was telling you all down here at like 50 cents, it was going to do really great, of course. I didn't buy down there because I was looking at other projects at the time and didn't expect it to launch as much as it bloody did, but it's about 5x since, and I've pretty much averaged in way up here. Yes, I think I'm going to still hit my multiples of between a 10 to 15x with this project. I think at a 2 billion market cap right now, I personally, at least non-financially, think it can go in excess of 30 billion, and part of the reason why is simply because it had this massive recent announcement that actually did help support the price going up even more which was that there was a $100 million funding round for Fetch that allowed these guys to go ahead and buy a whole heap of really expensive and exclusive NVIDIA chips, the H200, the H100, by the way, the H200 is a brand spanking new, and the A100s, okay? These are going to allow Fetch to really expand, and in their own words, the move is expected to accelerate the pace of innovation within the Fetch ecosystem by providing the capacity to explore complex models and solutions. Now, this all falls back into the popularity part of my Pumper Mentals research method because we can take this and expect there to be some sort of really good news that's come from this announcement over the next 12 to 24 months. And Fetch in of itself is a really awesome mimetic. It's got this whole AI agent model where businesses can pull and leverage and hire out these agents to do all these AI sort of tasks within a business that all feeds back into like a universal of mind if you will allowing the networks you know resources to get even larger passively while then also incentivizing more people to want to tap into that sort of network now flare network is definitely going to be in the massive blow off top level because this is a web3 layer one project that hits so many different narratives first and foremost again it acts like a normal layer one it's evm compatible but in built into the network itself, it's got like four massive things. It's got an inbuilt bridge, so it gets rid of all the bridge issues. It's got an inbuilt oracle, and it's got an inbuilt connector that takes in information from the internet. So that goes against like every sort of struggle that crypto has had to current day. And there's a whole bunch more that also comes from this as well. Really, truly is such a unique layer one project. It's only pretty much 12 months older, just a bit older, 
So it really hasn't seen the true power of a bull run yet. And so I think once people catch on and gravitate to this, this thing is going to blow the hell up, right? Really, truly, I think as long as the marketing continues to pick up steam, I think this is going to be a real winner. And it also is not on any of the big exchanges. So it's got Binance listing and also a Coinbase listing that still comes. Flux Network is straight away not going to waste any time. I'd buy more if I could. And I made a recent video on Flux. So, and I've been talking about this for the last two years, but I would suggest watching the video on my channel if you do want to have a look at this broken down much more to give you some perspective i only bought in at one dollar okay i was preaching it down here same situation as fetch just couldn't buy in at the time so yes i think this project at a 400 mil market cap can still do a lot of multiples especially if you are someone that loves icp this is very similar to icp it's a proof of work decentralized cloud it's connected with wordpress so you can run your own websites on it i mean it's just amazing I think recently as well, they went ahead and you know, incorporated an AI model on it. I think they run Grok or ChatGPT on the actual network now itself in a fully decentralized manner. And it's picking up a lot of steam from what I've so far seen on the social side of it. Speaking of the devil, ICP is up next. Again, very similar project to the likes of Flux. Straight away, not wasting time. I would definitely buy more if I could have this coin. If you guys know me and all my research on the channel, you know the reasons why I'm so bullish on HBAR. HBAR didn't make it to this list. Again, just because I believe these coins are just simply more suited for this bull run. ICP is right next to HBAR in terms of my conviction. I don't own any ICP because I'm a very strict person when it comes to buying at the right price to achieve my goal. But ICP again is up there because it just fundamentally is an amazing coin. It's a great project built on proof of work, but it's got one of the best, if not the best research and development team in the whole entire crypto space. And it's just pretty much, you can just tell the direction of this network, it's going to actually be adopted. It enables interrupt with the like of Bitcoin through chain key cryptography. I mean, they've done so many firsts on this project. I love how the canisters work, the smart contracts, they can connect to the internet. I mean, it's a really, really well thought out network. And they recently announced this massive update, the first demonstration of AI running completely on a blockchain, completely decentralized. And that's one thing I've got to give a lot of applause to ICP for. You run the front end, the back end, everything on this network, and it can actually handle it at scale. Now, this post got a lot of traction, 1 million views, and that is a true testament to how important this update was and how many people initially you know, love ICP. For it to gain that much traction, obviously, there's you know bigger updates out there. There has to be a somewhat general buzz about the project. And uh, I think ICP is going to easily 10x from this current price. IMX is up next. And this is a great coin. It's a layer two gaming focused project. They've got some really big updates that have come out. Uh, most notably their passport that allows this unification of all these different games. Historically speaking, and this is called account abstraction, but historically speaking, this wasn't actually a thing, right? You have to create different wallets for different individual games and it just created for a very messy experience. This, believe it or not, will bring in and usher in a whole lot of more demand, in my opinion, because it's so much easier to use and play different games. It prevents that barrier to entry. I mean, how many of us have gone, oh, I couldn't really be bothered using this platform because I have to go and create an account, write the seed phrase down and so on. So it eliminates that barrier to entry, in my opinion, creates a much more unified experience. So IMX was one I kind of started to catch on to a little bit too late. So I never managed to really get into it. But if I could go back in time, I would definitely buy a lot of this coin. I think if you hold it, you're definitely in two really powerful narratives. I mean, gaming is definitely going to be up there. And so is, of course, layer two. So in my opinion, in terms of the multiples, I think 15x from the current prices, it could even go a little bit more depending on how much traction gaming does get in the time being. Manta Network is next on this list. Again, similar to Acer, but these guys focus on what the next project is, zero knowledge proofs like Mina, okay? So this is a layer one and layer two. The layer one's built on Polkadot. Layer two is a roll up on Ethereum. And I think really highly of this project because it's doing a few things that hasn't really been done before. Typically one of their use cases, right? This over here, universal circuits, allows people to use ZKPs in a way that's never been really used before. So I think in total narratives, this might be the highest on this list. So I think Manta's gonna do quite well, particularly because the price right now is like, what, 30% up from the very, very lows. Uh, so it is very accessible to a lot of people. I personally have average in it like $2.90. So I'm not too far off this myself. I hold quite a lot of these tokens and I just find myself continuing to buy more and more. Now, I don't see me looking to add Mantis to the very top level because it just isn't at that echelon of projects. I see it kind of falling somewhere between massive blow off top to huge gainer. 
I'm going to lean more towards huge gainer. And the reason why it sits in there and not at the very top spot is because I don't think it's been out for long enough for people to really want to gravitate towards this. I mean, this area is somewhat saturated. And while it does have those unique aspects towards it, like those universal circuits, it all depends on people understanding it being a part of the meme. So I just don't think it's going to necessarily be as powerful as a massive blow off top project. Very similar to Mina. So we have Mina. Now Mina is again a ZKP or zero knowledge proof powered uh, cryptocurrency. It's a layer one blockchain, but it's sort of meme. Its whole unique aspect is that it's 22 kilobytes in size, which is more or less the size of an old tweet. Okay, so it's very, very small, lightweight. It uses something called recursive ZK snarks to pretty much just take a snapshot of each block in the blockchain so it stays at a fixed size. If you think about it, if you took a photo of a photo of a photo, you're not compounding the size of the photos, it's just the size of the last photo you've taken. In this case, I think Mina is definitely one that you need to get your eyes on ASAP because the price hasn't exploded, I think, as much as it really should have. In my personal opinion, I mean, this project's pretty much from the lows, only about three or four X. I think it can, again, go to 20, 30, maybe even a 40 billion market cap because it's just so unique on what I just told you. Layer 1 Web 3 ZKPs interop. It's looking to create a connective bridge over to Ethereum. It can connect to internet applications. It can pull data from the internet and there's a whole lot more, okay? The roadmap's also stacked, like actually stacked. If half of these things happen within the next 12 to 24 months, I mean, it's just going to create a lot of demand for the project, which we know happens to react really well because over here, the reason why it like basically 3x overnight was based on it launching on an exchange in Japan that I didn't even know about, right? So very small, relatively to the size of the world exchange. So again, we know it reacts really well to positive news. So I'm just waiting for some of this to come out. This falls into the massive blow off top level. Next up down here, we have Nia Protocol. Uh, this project it just continues to blow me away. I mean, look again, one of those situations where I was talking about this for a while, you'll notice a lot of these projects I have been discussing for around 12 or so months at least. Uh, and this coin I managed to average then about $2 and I'm really happy I did because it continues to just outperform the market, right? This was one that pretty much pumped up recently from AI, which was an area of the project not many people pay too much attention to. They have essentially a marketplace, not like Render or not like a cache where you can, you know, pick up people's idle GPUs. What they're doing is allowing people to pick up idle brain power, right? People who want to work in the AI industry that have the AI knowledge, people can pretty much rent them out, right? Or essentially hire them is probably a better word to use. And it allows that marketplace to flourish, kind of like the Airbnb of AI, essentially. These guys have a massive upgrade coming out sometime in the later half of this year, maybe even early next year called Nightshade. It's what makes Neo Protocol Neo Protocol. It's the reason why I got so hooked on this project to begin with that allows the, basically the network to become fully scalable, right? Essentially horizontally scalable so it can just continue to grow and grow in size with the inflow of extra demand. And this one by far goes into the very top category on this list. Our next coin is Fala Network. And I'm gonna put this straight away into a strong coin because just a little bit concerned with the validity of some of the statements on the project. It's got some of these stats like 33,000 online workers and all this sort of CPU power, but I'm yet to see any validity behind that. Again, I could be looking in the wrong places. Sure, fair enough. But it's made it to this list because it hits a lot of the different narratives. So if we just scroll down the homepage, I mean, even if half of these different utility options actually happen in a real, this is massive. It's allowing basically a co-processor in the sense of you think of a computer, right? You think of a CPU. That's like the main part of a computer. Without a CPU, you can't run a computer. Well, a co-processor to the CPU is a GPU, taking away all that extra computational power required to do things like rendering and does it you know, in an isolated manner. That's what these guys are looking to do. Become the co-processor for blockchains. Basically take away all that extra hard work and do it all for them. Account abstraction, right? Allow it to connect to different networks. A Web3 AI port. The decentralized API, distributed computing, L2 sequencer, so they can decentralize layer twos. It's just a whole bunch of different things, basically. And it is all done and powered by their, I guess, unique type of smart contract called a FAT contract or a FALA contract. Pith is a coin that I hold quite a lot of, and I would 
for sure put it in the massive blow off top category probably borderline i'd buy more if i could this is basically the next evolution of uh chain link you know chain link is pretty well far gone at this point chain link's market caps like what 12 15 billion something like that this is only 1.3 billion it's a very new oracle project it's built on solana so it's like basically the premier like sort of oracle for solana it leverages wormhole right which is a interoperability play connecting many different networks I mean, these guys are growing very, very fast, not just on their socials, but the network itself. If you have a look at their metrics, which they provide very detailed um, answers to, and you scroll down, I mean, you can have a look at some of their stats. It's just incredible. They already have 4 billion TVS or total value secured across many different networks. They're connected to way more blockchains than the likes of Chainlink, and they update way more price fees per network than Chainlink even does right now. And once they had their partnership recently announced for HBAR, my mind was like, oh, that's an obvious play. Because if you think about it, HBAR is focusing a lot more right now on Web3 growth. And the fact that they've partnered with Pith gives me an indication Pith is going to see a lot more demand coming from HBAR because there's about $400 million from HBAR in terms of growing their Web3 adoption. So, I mean, just the amount of demand in that alone, let alone and the other like 50 plus uh, blockchains, it's, I mean, crazy. But I won't spend too much time on render because I think you will know what render is at this point. I'd say goes up in this very top category as well. Render hits, of course, Deepin and AI. It does hit a few other smaller narratives as well. The way that it's evolving, I think it's going to be heavily used in the AR, VR world as well. That's a very low ranking narrative for this bull run, but I think for the next bull run, absolutely. This is a really long-term play. I mean, a toy, the parent company is absolutely gigantic which is basically allowing the real utility of the render network to be like extremely pushed forward. Typically, these network effects take a long time to get the ball rolling, but Render having leveraged its parent company uh, being so prominent in this area already, I think is going to push it out to a whole bunch of people very quickly. So in my opinion, if I could go back in time, I would buy a lot of Render. Next up is a micro cap called Sinesis One, which I had been talking about more recently. Now, this coin is one that I'm personally investing a little bit of my money into because being such a low market cap project at 55 million, it's got a lot of room to grow. So the multiples here could most definitely be, honestly, even I probably wouldn't say 100x, but I would say like 20, 30, maybe even 50x makes it to this list because it's in the AI narrative. It's also in the gaming narrative. You can actually play games to train AI data sets. And it's also X to earn, essentially train to earn, if you will. It's also partnered with some massive people as well, like three or four S-tier investors, right? Kinetic, NGC Ventures, Master Ventures is about a B-tier investor, uh, D1 Capital, LD Capital, and GBIC. Uh, these are S-tier investors, and it has a whole plethora mix between B and A investors as well. So this is what, you know, most uh, DGENs look for in terms of the be-all and end-all of a project, right? How quality are their investors? This is definitely a good sign to see. So it makes it to the list, absolutely, but I'd put it next to a stop. And last but not least, we have Celestia. Now, I honestly would put this straight up the top because I don't own any. I'd love to go back in time and buy some of this coin. It hits massive narratives. It's a Web3 Layer 1 built on Cosmos. It's working on data availability, so providing infrastructure for Layer 2s. It's also interoperability and a whole bunch of other stuff as well. So it hits a big sort of corner of crypto for this bull run that really wasn't around in the last cycle. So in my opinion... It would be great to have this, not just because of that, but also because if you stake this token, you could also participate in airdrops. And there's going to be a lot of massive airdrops coming specifically for Cosmos and Celestia stakers. I know that for a fact. So you're going to be leveraging not just the growth of Celestia, but also those airdrops as well. This coin, I think, is a pivotal part of this bull run. Again, it's actually had a massive, I guess, buzz or created a massive buzz around this whole modularity data availability part of crypto so that will do today's video guys i hope you have enjoyed make sure you take a screenshot of this if you really need to learn more about these projects of course go down below check out the channel and see if i've made a video on them with that being said i hope you have a great great rest of your day i'll talk to you tomorrow